Hi, I'm Ron Clark, and here at the Ron Clark Academy, we do all we can to put passion, innovation, and creativity into our classrooms. We want our students to truly love to learn. One of the main ways we do that is by using this active expression from Promethean. By using real-time, personalized intervention, we are actually able to bring our classroom to life and help all of our students be successful. There are 10 main ways we do that in our classrooms here at the Ron Clark Academy. Come with me, and I'll show you more. One of the easiest ways to use the active expressions is to simply ask your class a question, have them enter the answer, and then the results are charted up on the board. You can tell automatically how much your class is comprehended and where they are in terms of their knowledge base. But if you really want to bring some passion and some excitement, you can use tip number one where you start your class with urgency. No one wants to waste time in the classroom, and so what we do is we found a solution that will really get the kids started and have them running into your class and ready and eager to learn. Prior to the students coming in, I took about 60 seconds to enter three basic review questions for the students on the active expression. So as they enter and they pick up their active expression, they receive question number one. And I can look on the board here and see that the students are working on question number one, and I can actually see this child has finished number one and is now on to question number two. If a student gets a question wrong, I will instantly see an X which lets me know that that child, for example right here, is struggling. I can then go to that child individually and say, what did you miss this problem? Let's look at it together. It's really cool because then, when the kids have finished, one of these students in the class will receive a message that they completed all of the questions right first. It's a great way to start the lesson and it's an awesome way to not waste time and to get the kids fired up to come into class and to be ready to go. Tip number two, use the active expression to bring science experiments to life. Our wonderful teacher at RCA is Mr. Townsell, and he does a great job of getting the kids involved with hands-on experiments. What he'll do is he'll give a brief introduction to the experiment, and then he allows the active expression to do the rest of the work. He's already gone into the real-time program and entered all the steps of the experiment. When he finishes his introduction, the students receive their very first step on the active expression. It's a great way for the kids to finish the experiment, for them to work together, and for Mr. Townsville to be able to see how well the students are achieving the experiment and which groups may need some help and which groups are right on target. Tip number three, use the active expression to score a touchdown. One of our incredible teachers, Mrs. Bearden, actually turns her entire class into a football field and the kids love it. The students then try to answer question number one. If they get it correct, they get a roll of die, and that will tell them how many yards they get to travel. The more questions they get right, the more chances they get to roll, and therefore the farther they go. When they finally get to the other side, they throw their hands up, they score a touchdown, and it is a great way for the class to review important information and for Mrs. Bearden to know exactly how much they've run. Tip number four, use the active expressions to create a phenomenal scavenger hunt. One of our great teachers here at RCA, Mr. DeVico, uses the active expressions to create a scavenger hunt for the students. He enters all of these clues throughout the active expression real-time program, and then what happens is that the students receive clue number one. For math class, it may say, go to the front door and measure its width. If the students get it right, then they're instructed to go to the railing of the staircase, find out its length. The kids are going all over the school trying to find information. When they get it right, yes, they get a new clue. You're getting the kids up out of their seats, using the active expressions in the real-time program to send them all over the school or all over the classroom, and you're finding a way to truly bring learning to life that the students will really love and enjoy. Tip number five deals with bringing silent, sustained reading to life. When kids have to read silently in class, sometimes they're not really reading at all. They're just bored and staring at the page. So what we do is we enter a series of questions from the information the students have to read into the real-time program. As the students read and find the answers to the questions, they enter them as they go. I can instantly look at the board and see the students who are reading and who are successfully understanding their material, and I can see students who are stuck. All the students are held accountable. They have to be on point and focused, and they all have to make sure they're using the most of their silent, sustained reading time. Tip number six, use the active expressions to make really challenging work exciting. Mrs. Goff is our amazing algebra teacher here, and she does an activity where she gives the kids a series of 12 parabolas. They then have to take the picture and look onto the active expression. On the active expression, a function will appear. The students then have to figure out by working together, how will the coefficients of the function actually affect the parabola? 
It's great. It's exciting. And it makes something that's really hard, really fun, because the kids enjoy working together and using the active expression to help them figure out the hard work. Tip number seven. Use the active expression to review large amounts of information. Our great science teacher, Mr. Townsell, teaches our students all about the periodic table. And then what he does is he enters all of the information about all of the elements into the active expression. Then, all he has to do is come in class, click on any element such as hydrogen, and all of the information in the questions are instantly sent to the students. Mr. Townsend gets to then look at the board and see exactly how much information they have mastered. Mr. Townsend knows how much they've learned, and the students make sure they're prepared for any upcoming assessments. Tip number eight involves using the active expression as part of the instruction and not in addition to the instruction. You really want the active expression to be a real integral part of the lesson. For example, I may be teaching one of these great long algebra problems with my class. I may get them to a certain point and then I'll stop and I'll say, now it's on you. It's your turn to finish this problem. I will have previously entered a series of steps in the active expression that the students will then have to complete in order to make sure that they solve this algebra problem successfully. The students love it. It's a real part of the instruction and it's a valuable piece to get the kids to know that they can complete the problems on their own and that I can see exactly how much the class has learned. Tip number nine is to bring a traditional classroom activity to life. A lot of teachers use crossword puzzles to review information, and we do too at the Ron Clark Academy, but we have found a way to really fire it up. What we do is we enter the crossword puzzle clues into the active expression using the real-time program, and then we have the students actually get in the floor and build a life-size crossword puzzle. They receive each clue step-by-step step from the active expression, and then they have to put all of the information together to build and complete the crossword. Tip 10. Use the active expressions to create teamwork and collaboration. Mrs. Koss is a phenomenal teacher, and she has a new twist on an old game, Steal the Bacon. A lot of you probably know with Steal the Bacon, you have teams, a certain number is called out, and certain individuals have to run to the center, steal a flag, and get back to their group. But what Ms. Koss has done is she's used the active expression and the real-time system in order to make it fun and new. And as you see, the kids are rushing, they love it, and it's exciting. It's a great way for them to review information, to work together, and it's a great way for Ms. Koss to make sure the students are on point and that they know all the information they need to know for any upcoming assessments. Woo! So there you have it, the top 10 ways we use the active expression and the real-time personalized intervention at RCA to really bring learning to life and to get our kids excited. But you know what? That's just cracking the surface. There are so many ways, limitless ways, where you can really use this system to really get your kids excited and to help them become successful. So I encourage you to find your own top 10 ways and to do whatever it takes to get your kids motivated to learn and to get them all to be successful.